Hi everyone, welcome back to SPSS Guide with me, Dr. J. Today we are going to look into correlations and we are going to um, do a step-by-step -step, uh, analysis using SPSS for Pearson's correlation coefficient. Okay, so for Pearson correlation coefficient or for correlations in general, we are going to, uh, as usual, use your guidebook, okay? So just to remind you, uh, this is from um, the file SPSS module, okay? We are using this guidebook, okay? And you can open up the copy number five, and we are now looking into page number 26 on correlation, okay? So what is correlation actually? So correlation tells us whether there is a relationship between two variables, whether one can predict the other within group or related samples. But bear in mind that correlations does not demonstrate causality. Okay, so we just we are just going to look into whether or not they are related or not. Okay, so if you look at your uh, module, okay, uh, the value for correlation, right? So you can see. Uh, whether the variables, yeah, it can be two or more, are has uh, or have positive or negative relationship with each other. And you can also look at the range or the strength of the relationship. And the strength can range between 0 until 0 0.3, uh, which is considered as a weak relationship, 0 0.4 to 0.6 as moderate relationship, and if um, the value shows more than 0.7, that will indicate a strong relationship. So let's start with the first uh, practice activity, okay, which uh, will utilize uh, scatter plot, okay. Uh, so using page 27 as your guide, right, look at the practice activity uh, steps open world95.sav data. So this is uh, the data that has been given to you previously in the file. So you can look at um, the lab files and open up world95 files, okay? So I've already opened that up and we're gonna look um, at the data side by side with your practice activity. And as usual, using this um, practice activity and this book, the steps will be shown to you in this box, okay? So let's follow this box. We are going to go with graph and then legacy dialog, scatter plot or scatter dot, okay? Simple scatter and then define. So I've already done this uh, previously, so I'm just gonna reset it to show you the steps. We are going to choose fertility or average number of kids as the y-axis and also female who read as the x-axis okay and then just click ok and look at the output um, window okay so there will be a graph so this is the scatter dot graph and let's look at the scatter dot here whereby we can see there's a pattern emerging and it looks like we can draw uh, a graph here. So graph this um, way, okay, it, it indicates um, a negative relationship. So we can um, conclude that um, females literacy or females who read has a negative relationship with the number of kids that they have. So this is from what the scatter dot is showing us. However, we cannot uh, conclude the strength of the relationship. So let's look at how we can do that. So back to your module, page 28. Okay, so we're going to go to page 28 and we are going to perform Pearson's R to see if there is a relationship between women's literacy and fertility levels and we can also look at the strength of the relationship. So using this um, steps in the box, right? 
So you can run the analysis from the output window as well. So you just go to analyze and then correlate, which is B variate, okay? And I've already done it before, so I'll just reset to show you the steps. So I'll be choosing fertility as well as females who read. Okay. And from here in the options box, I will click means and standard deviation and we'll click continue and OK. So from here, if I just minimize this a little bit, Okay, you can also um, compare this with the output in your book. Okay, so it is similar. So what we can see here is um, the N, okay, for both fertility uh, and also females who read, the standard deviation and also mean. So you can um, go back to previous uh, videos on what all this means, okay. So what we are interested in is the correlations box, okay. So from here, if you can see, this is uh, a mirror image, okay? So um, it's the same data, just presented a little bit different, whereby this is fertility versus females who read here, and here is females who read versus the fertility, okay? So we can see here the number that we are looking into is this one, okay? So this will show you the strength of the relationship. So we can see it is a negative relationship. There's a negative um, here and it is 0.839. So if you go back to your notes on page 26, so if the value is more than 0.7, that indicates a strong relationship, okay? And also to calculate the R value, okay, in your book. So here is how you calculate the R. So the R will be uh, uh, 83 or equals to negative 0.83. So we are taking this value with P less than 0 0.005. Okay, if you look at your book, it's here. The significant two tail is P less than 0 0.005. In your output, it's here. Okay, and the degree of freedom is uh, for R is N minus 2. So it's um, 83. Uh, 85, sorry, 85 minus 2 equals to 83. So how do you write this um, results? Okay, so this is the example of how you can write um, the results. Okay, so there is a significant strong negative relationship between the level of female literacy and fertility, such as um, the level of literacy increases, average number of children decreases. With R, 83 equals to negative 0.84 with P less than 0 0.001. And this suggests that increasing literacy levels among women and girls should lead to fewer children. So you can come up with a conclusion as such. Okay, so this is an example. You can also use your own way to uh, summarize the findings of your analysis. Okay, so we are going to meet in um, our next video. Bye-bye for now.